Hey guys, welcome to the Fly Tonight channel. It's time to be my own man. That one today is draws inspiration from Floyd Mayweather split with Golden Boy promotions to forge his own path as a promoter. The WBA regular lightweight champion. Gervonta Davis sat down at the I'm Eat Late podcast ahead of his fight against Rolando Romero. One of the most exciting fighters right now, Tank shared his opinions and views on different avenues of boxing. Davis, along with the host Brandon Marshall, Chad Octonio Johnson and Adam Caparel spoke about what he thinks of Jake Paul, as well as shed light on his relationship with Floyd Mayweather. Is Gervonta Davis still under Mayweather promotions? Davis has been signed with the Mayweather promotions for 7 years. However, his fight against Romero in May 2022 will be his last fight under the Mayweather banner. Gervonta Davis believes it's time for him to get out of under Floyd Mayweather and go his own way. He stated, it's time to, you know, I mean, be my own man, handle my business like me hands, on with my own, you know, I mean, with my own business. Inspired by his mentor split with Golden Boy promotions for his decision, Davis hopes to achieve similar success on his own two feet, as things worked out splitly for TBE. According to Tank, even though he might not believe in the money team, he appreciates everything Mayweather has done for him. He says, I mean, I can never take that away from Fluid because he's the one that got me. He put me in a position to take money. After a seven-year partnership, the three-division champion has his eyes set on powering his own way through the boxing industry. Davis mentioned it that he plans on becoming a promoter himself with his GTD promotions that he launched a year ago. However, during the interview, Tank addressed that. However, during the interview, Tank addressed that his promotion company was only getting attention due to his split with Mayweather promotions. Davis will hope to recreate with GTD what Mayweather achieved with TMT. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 1000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel, you are my support. Thank you so much. Sending him back to America. George Cambosos fires warning shot at Devin Haney. Boxer George Cambosos Jr. says he will be sending Devin Haney home without any gold in his suitcase, pledging to send him back to America without his title belt. The Australian will put his WBO, WBA and IBF lightweight championships on the line when he takes on Haney with the goal of snagging the WBC title to add to his collection. This is the fight that the world has been waiting for, and I can't wait to share this experience with my family, my friends and my country on June 5 at Marvel Stadium, Cambosos told reporters on Tuesday. My phone has been buzzing since the date and venue were announced at. It's very humbling to know you have the support of an entire country, and it also gives me strength to know I will have them all in my corner come June 5. I want Haney to know when he walks out that while it may be in the ring, there are literally millions of my people both in Australia and in Greece that have my back. I want to blow the roof off and send him back to America without the WBC belt. Despite a hometown advantage, Cambosos remains an outsider with the bookmakers hovering at around the $2 mark. Although he's not nearly as much an outsider as he was when he shocked Tefimo Lopez in December. But you wouldn't know he was the outsider from the build-up so far, with Haney the one planning to shock the confident Australian, including early this month when the American took exception to being called a kid and being told that he had been chosen for this fight rather than earning it. He doubled down, saying he was looking forward to playing the violent in front of hostel crowd and that he had definitely earned his shot. If Haney wins, he will immediately owe Cambosos a rematch, which will also be in Australia. Most people wouldn't have chosen to go to Australia twice, especially many champions wouldn't have accepted that, he told Boxing Sense this week. But you know, I trusted my talent, I trusted my skills, and I feel like if we would fight 10 times in Australia, then I will beat him 10 times, said Cambosos. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.